In the spring of 1948, Mom and Dad were arguing again. Mom handed Carolyn and me each a bucket and told us to go out to the woodpile to gather wood chips for kindling. We'd been working for a while when I noticed Carolyn wasn't beside me anymore. I looked around and saw her heading toward the river, carrying her bucket over her head. I started screaming, but she didn't stop. She couldn't hear me with the bucket covering her ears. Mom, Dad, and my brother Charles came running out of the house when they heard me yelling. I was jumping up and down, pointing toward the river. Charles leapt off the porch and sprinted after Carolyn. Just as she was about to step into the water, 12 feet deep, he grabbed her by the hem of her dress and pulled her back. I don't remember Carolyn getting a spanking for that. What I do remember is Mom and Dad repeating the same warning every day after that. Don't go near the river, you could drown. I don't recall exactly when we moved to the river, but I do remember that my older brothers had to cross it in a small boat to catch the school bus. When I was old enough to start school, Mama refused to let me go, she was terrified I might fall out of the boat and drown. One day, while the boys were at school, Mama handed me a half-gallon jug of water and told me to take it to Dad, who was working in the field. She reminded me not to go near the woods or the river. Our house was sandwiched between the two, so I had to pass the edge of the woods to reach the field. I was scared. The ground was so hot it burned my bare feet, but I couldn't run, or I'd spill the water. Only the boys and Dad had shoes, Mama said the rest of us didn't need them. As I passed the woods, I glanced to the side and froze. There, at the edge of the trees, I saw what looked like a tattered dress covered in blood, surrounded by scattered bones. On the way back to the house, I started crying. When I told Mama what I'd seen, I admitted I was scared. I was terrified the wolves might get me too. Mama asked if I could stay and watch my little sisters while she took the water to Dad. She told me to keep the door closed so the girls wouldn't wander outside. I agreed. After that, I couldn't stop wondering if I'd had a sibling no one told me about, one who might have been taken by the wolves. While we lived by the river, Mama had another baby girl. We named her Belinda. I don't remember much about when she was born. Maybe it was because I didn't have to run across the cornfield at night anymore. Mama lost a couple of babies before we moved away from the river. She would put them in shoeboxes and ask Charles to bury them. But one day, when we went outside with the boxes, Dad told us to throw them in the river instead. I think that's what we did.